Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to another Get Fit With Gadgets. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you my review of this, the Withings Activity Pop, kindly sent to me by Argos. I'm also going to be giving you an update on my activity levels over the past week. Before I do that, I'll just let you know that for the next week, so the next seven days, I'm going back to my trusty Fitbit Charge HR. And also wanna let you know just generally how I've been doing over the past week. Now, activity levels have been sort of down really, and that's for a couple of reasons. One is I've been doing a lot more decorating in the studio. I've also been doing some changes to the editing room. So I've really been based in one location. And I must admit, I've thrown myself into the work and haven't got out and about quite as much as I'd like to. But I've still been very active and doing different sorts of work. Instead of sitting at a computer editing, I've actually been moving around and doing lots and lots of things. So I feel very good, very energised. And overall, it's been a really good week. My diet has also improved again. I've cut out a lot more of the snacks and I'm eating a lot more vegetables. I've been doing stir fries quite often with very small amount of fat just to cook it. Uh, but I've been using like a, a sunflower oil to cook the uh, stir fry in and been eating loads of vegetables and the balance in my meals have changed as well. Whereas before I'd have quite a big portion of meat uh, some rice or pasta and a small amount of vegetables. I've switched that around so I have a large amount of vegetables and probably about two thirds the amount of rice or pasta and half the amount of meat. And I think that's a really good change. It certainly helped me to lose another two pounds in weight. So I'm really pleased about that. So anyway, let's now take a closer look at the Withings Activity Pop and also my activity over the past seven days. So before I show you the Withings Activity Pop in a bit more detail, let's have a look at the application on my iPhone. And I'm gonna run through all of my activity first and then I'll show you some of the other features of the app as I go through. So I've scrolled back down this timeline and it's, it's laid out quite differently to the other apps I've actually used for activity tracking. But it's quite nice, so we've got this timeline we can scroll through and we get sad faces, smiley faces, depending upon our level of activity. And if we look at last Monday, you can see here 2,225 steps, and that's 27% of my goal, so not very good. If we tap on this, it actually gives us some more details, so we can see throughout the day my level of activity. We've got a total of 2,225 steps, 27% because my goal is 8,000, 1.66 kilometers, and then we've got uh, calories here, and then we've also got walking distance. So I did seven minutes of walking, and this was primarily because I was based in the studio on that day. So if we go back one level, and then we can see our sleep activity for that Monday night was seven hours and 46 minutes, which is 97% of my goal and we can also see the daily steps for Tuesday here 2980 steps 37% of my goal and then that night I've got 8 hours and 24 minutes sleep which is 104% and then a bit more activity this day 3339 but still not reaching my 50% mark which is really disappointing 7 hours 47 minutes sleep and then on the Thursday 43% of my goal with 3,478 uh, steps and seven hours and 22 minutes sleep on that Thursday night. And then we get a smiley face, a little bit of encouragement because on the previous day I did a personal best. And that's not a personal best overall over this year, but just a personal best since I started using the Withings Activity Pop. And then on the Friday, 4,932 steps, that's a lot better, 61% of my goal. Seven hours, 54 minutes sleep on that Friday night. Another smiley face because I did a personal best. And then we've got 4,601 steps on the weekend, eight hours and one minute sleep. Sad face because I didn't do as many steps. And then 4,449 steps, which is 55%, and that was on the uh, Sunday. And then here we get an average. So we get a weekly sleep average and a weekly steps average, which is really nice. So on average over the whole week, I'll get seven hours and 52 minutes sleep every night. And I did 26,004 steps over the whole week. Now if I scroll back just to perhaps this night here where I got eight hours and one minute sleep and tap on here, we also get some extra sleep analysis too. 
So you can see when I was trying to fall asleep, I was awake for 25 minutes, and then I had five hours and 37 minutes of light sleep, which is the lighter colored blue or lighter colored purple. And then deep sleep was two hours and 24 minutes, so really good. I actually got to sleep in 11 minutes and I woke up three times. So that's really good. And then as we scroll down, you can see the smaller graph at the bottom. So it's overall, it's a really good app. If we go all the way up to the top of the app here, go into the dashboard, you can see here I've got timeline, uh, dashboard, friends, profile, reminders, and then we've got some other options down here as well. And we can go back across really easily. And then at the top here, I've got this scrollable uh, sort of uh, portion at the top here. And you can see I've got an alarm set for 8.30 p.m. every evening. And this is my today's activity. And the nice thing is while it's syncing, you actually see this number count up. So it doesn't sync all the time. It only synchronizes when you open the application. And if we scroll across to this side, we've got my weight as well, because I do also own the Withings uh, scale, which is a, a Wi-Fi scale with a, a smart analyzer in it. So it keeps track of your weight as well. So the application is really good. So this is what the watch looks like, and it's actually available in two different versions. One of them is a lot higher end, uses higher grade materials. This is the cheaper version, and it looks really nice. I think it's a, a nice looking watch. If you think of something like a high end swatch, that's the sort of quality you're going to get here. Now, for the most part, I found that I was wearing it, actually spinning it round to this position, if I can do it, there we go, actually wearing it on the bottom of my wrist, just so that this band looked like this. And that's because I wear a watch on my other wrist as well. But of course, you can wear it as a normal watch, and you get a scale here, which is uh, this sort of sub-dial, and this is naught to 100% of your activity goal. So at the moment you can see I'm on roughly about 20% of my daily goal. And then of course the main hands on the top are of course for the time. Now you can set alarms. When the alarm goes off this vibrates. I found that sometimes I could silence the alarm by double tapping, but at other times it wouldn't silence the alarm. It just went on for about 30 seconds. Now if I do double tap this, it should go round to my alarm time. So it's now showing that my alarm is set for 8.30 and then it will go back to the regular time automatically. The watch band is fairly comfortable, although it is quite stiff. I found getting a comfortable position on the watch band quite difficult, but for the most part, it was nice and comfortable. Uh, just on occasion, it just felt a little bit stiff and I had to loosen it off uh, sort of one hole. Let's just take this off of my wrist so you can get a closer look at the uh, watch face. It is is an actually really nice design. I like the slightly domed effect to the uh, sort of glass on the top and it's not picked up any scratches which is really nice. The actual body of the watch has got this PVD black coating on it and if we look around the back you can actually see that this is sealed. It uses a normal battery, so one of these flat cell batteries which means that you don't have to charge it every day or every week. I think that's a really good feature. This little portion here is a little push pin and you use that to activate the watch when you first purchase it. We've also got quick release straps as well here so you can pull this across, it releases the strap and then you could put something else on, perhaps like a leather strap or personalize it to your own taste. So that's it, I think it's a really good tracker if you're looking for something that you can use for telling the time that looks a little bit more like a normal watch than a piece of technology, then the Withings Activity Pop is well worth checking out. This was very kindly supplied to me by Argos for the purposes of this video. I'll leave a link to their website in the video description. Thanks very much for watching this update. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another Get Fit With Gadgets very soon.